All right, everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can have your Windows running on your iPad or even a Mac running on your iPad. So why would you want to do this? For example, you can run Windows software, for example, like Sims straight on here. And you can also run softwares like PowerPoint, the full version of PowerPoint straight on here. So easy peasy. So I'm going to show you how to do so. Now, the first thing that you're going to need or I'm going to recommend you to have is a software that is called Jump Desktop. OK, Jump Desktop. So it is not a free app. However, it is so far the best app when it comes to assessing remote desktop. It's such a good investment. And at the moment, they offer 50 percent off as well if you would like to buy them now right so so here is jump desktop okay so if you can see here i have several of my remote desktop i have an imac i have my school uh, remote desktop here and then i have a macbook here right depending on your school's uh, remote desktop infrastructure you might need to have two configuration the first one is external which means if i want to access the remote desktop outside of the school network so as simply as if i'm not connected to the school wi-fi i select that one if i'm uh, connected to the school wi-fi then to select that one right it depends on how it the network is configured conf configured uh, to the server itself All right so most school using uh, rm unify so they have a service called CC for Access. You need to ask your IT technician about this configuration of files. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to show you how, right? Once you have the app, how would you like to connect to your remote desktop? So you might need a configuration file from your IT department, IT technician. So if you see at the top here, there's a plus icon. You select that they will ask for the host name port the type is rdp or vnc depending on the configuration if you have that information easy just input them in there or you can import the configuration file so your IT technician might send you a configuration file you can import it straight away wherever you've got your you save the configuration file um where wherever it is so for example google drive or wherever so i'm going to show you how the configuration file looks like so in this case, it looks like this. So you can see here, CC for access external, CC for access internal. So it ends with .rdp, which is remote desktop protocol, right? Those are the files that you need. We can import it straight away to the app. Okay, now the next best thing about using Jump Desktop is the ability for it to connect to an actual mouse. So here I've got a Bluetooth mouse connected to the iPad. I have a separate video about how to connect a Bluetooth mouse with your iPad. So this mouse is a little bit special. So if I turn this on, okay, and then I have it on, so you see it's connected. And you can see there's my cursor, it's my pointer, and it works straight away perfectly with the remote desktop, with the Windows. So I can do whatever I want with it. Right, this means that if I want to do PowerPoint, for example, quicker and easier if I use my mouse and it just works so flawlessly here. And there's several settings if you go to this uh, spanner icon. So you can change the settings of physical mouse right on the app. So there's not many mouse that actually support this um, functionality so if i go here right here is a list here is a help uh, website support website for jump desktop so here is a list of three um, mouse that actually works really really well whereby it mimics exactly what you're doing with the mouse and what is showing up on the remote desktop right the one that i'm using right now is citrix x1 Okay, so at the moment it costs about sixty dollars, all right. But I bought it, bought it by on eBay, and it costs it way way less than that. And then if you have bought the app, if you can see here, you've got a discount, a fifty pound coupon of using the Swift Point GT mouse. Swift Point is this one, right? 
So it is not a cheap option. I do understand that using this mouse uh, because you can get cheaper mouse on Amazon for about less than 10 pounds. However, it is really, really good whereby it mimics exactly what you're doing with what's shown on the iPad. Now, finally, I'm going to show you what if you would like your own a laptop at home, your own desktop at home to be accessed remotely so you can run more software on your iPad. So that's easy. So if you go to the Jump Desktop website, right, there's a link here, it says automatic setup, or if you scroll down, there is softwares for Windows or for Mac where you can just easily download it, run it, install it, and it works just out of the box. You might need to uh, um, create an account, but basically that's it. There's no other configuration needed, right? And then you can just simply run it straight from the iPad. You can see here, straight on it. This is the school remote desktop. However, if I'm uh, with my iMac, connect it to my iMac, and there we go, straight away, right? You can type my password, whatever. Here's my mouse, easy peasy, works perfectly. Right, now that is all for today's video. I hope it has been useful. Any comments, leave them down below. Any questions, just leave them down below. And see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.